Okay, so I stayed off a lot of the, the wrestling websites for the majority of the, the, the day. And I hop on to watch 205 Live, which is weird to watch on a Tuesday nights. And they begin with seeing the titles in abeyance. It's like, alright, Enzo dropped him like I knew he was injured, you know what's going on. And then it's like, oh by the way, what? Yeah. Enzo's gone. Look into it more. Apparently back in October, he started being investigated for uh, sexual assault. And from the snippets that have been posted online, it's uh... <sighs> hey, you've got a bad rep backstage. You get injured a lot in the ring, which most wrestlers say is attributed to your your lack of knowledge in the ring. And you think that having a million Instagram followers means that women should ought to be attracted to you. You know what? You, you burn bright candle and you burned... I burn in other places too. I watched some bits and pieces of him on TMZ and it seems like he is that character 24-7. First you see in the ring is the dialed down version of who he is in real life. He's got huge lolly boys in the back. If you watch the Corey Graves straight to the source bit, you know he's uh, he's not a well liked man. And if he's been under investigation for the better part of three months, and this really begins to hit light before the Royal Rumble, around the time of Raw 25, and the stuff that's slowly starting to filter out is. Yeah, the sort of stuff that uh, you could be the realest guy in a jail room. Realest dude in the, realest dude in the prison block. How you doing? So, right move on the east part. You know, if you've got a guy, I know with, with Rich Swan it was, you know, you're suspended until we find out what's going on. It was, it was big. But as well as it's like, you know what? These things happened before with wrestlers. You know, we, we can we can at least wait for this to play out in, in the courts, legal systems, everything. But with with this deal with Enzo, hey. Cut your losses when you can. <laughs> 